Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For all of you guys that are new here, I'm Nina. Very, very nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. I am a certified life and relationship coach for all of you guys that are new, so welcome. So today's topic that I wanted to discuss is off of a coaching call, off of a video that I actually posted just yesterday. I was on a coaching call with a young lady who reached out to me. She was dating a single dad and she just wanted to know, like, what do I look out for? Like, what do I need to pay attention to? Okay. And so during that video, which I will link down below, by the way, guys, um, I told you guys that I would share my personal story of dating a single dad. Um, I figured a lot of women could probably, you know, um, get a little something out of, okay? So back in the day, um, when I was in my early 20s, I actually dated a guy who had two kids, okay? Um, he had a total of the age of 10. He was an older boy and a younger girl. And I... I can honestly tell you that I had such a great, a great example of what it is to be a single dad. Like he gave such a great example of what a single dad is, what a dad is in general, but dating one, how, what to look out for when, when, when doing so, because I got such a good example from him, okay? Now he was a guy, I'm not in the his profession, but he had a great job, great, great job. Um, so again, he financially provided to his ex-wife because he was divorced for quite a few years um, for both of these kids, both of his kids, which is obviously the very you know, basic thing. That's what happens when you guys are divorced. You have to provide for the kids. Um, but only that, he had so much there with those kids. Like, paying attention to those things and, and understanding, like, that it's not just them living in like the moment because they're there like he used to always talk about those kids not just because he wanted to show me they were there that they had some sort of connection and he did dad dad duties and all of that that wasn't the case and even when it was time for him just him and i just hang out and it wasn't the other every other weekend thing for the kids to come by he used to always talk about those kids he used to always talk about those kids. He'd tell me about them, you know, he'd get, you know, he'd show me pictures of them, and tell me about what they like, what they love, what they hate, you know, how they're growing, how they were as, as, as you know, babies. When it came down to things like, you know, besides your financials, right? So your monthly, you know, um, child support or whatever. I remember asking, seeing him ask his ex-wife about, you know, getting their school supplies list and getting all of the kids school supplies taken care of dropping them off to their house anything that came down to you know besides the bare like basics of you know getting these kids to eat and having a roof over their head or even you know having you know clothes on their back that was the very bare he already had that checked off but going beyond and above and beyond being able to just be there for those kids like you could just tell the vibe of how they were how comfortable they were around him how comfortable he was around them, that happiness that was there you know there was never any time when i was there that he in front of them disrespected their mother or questioned anything if there was something personal that needed to be discussed whether it was finance or there was questions on their health or whatever he would discuss those over the phone with her while the kids weren't there Okay, and even when he did, there was no bickering whatsoever there. They they spoke to one another like mature adults. Okay, but he he did what he needed to do as a dad. It wasn't like oh that's my cutoff point. That's not in my job description. That that was that was never the case. You know, I remember one time his his uh, son got an ear infection. You know, and he took him right away um, to the doctor. They were under I, I don't know if they were under his or her insurance, but I remember them talking about it. And you know calling her and letting her know like this is what I saw prior to it, this is how he's acting, this is what we did, this is why I took him, and this is what the doctor said, this is the, the medicine I picked up for them. It was just you he just he just had it down pat. Like he 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 did an excellent job. Excellent job with those kids. But he knew that those kids always came first. He never put me in I never expected to be put first. I just always looked down upon that when a mom and dad, a mom or dad puts their, you know, their partner, whoever they're dating, not even talking about like, I would even say relationship, not even talking about dating because that, that happens, <laughs> unfortunately, ahead of their kids. Never. That should never be the case. But those kids came first. Like, with the other, other, every other weekend thing, he'd ask me to hang out with them as well. But those kids, I built my schedule every other weekend around them. 
that was it. That's the respect I had back for him. Okay, because that just that's just what you do. You're adults. You're not you're not children anymore. Okay. So I always looked at that as like a very responsible thing to do. Okay, there was never any I haven't, you know, dropped them off earlier or I'm gonna pick them up late or you know, why don't you push this weekend back? There was never. There was never. Like it would have to be an emergency for something like that to happen. That was never the case. Like he took his daddy duties seriously. His father being the responsible father that he was serious. Okay, everything else came afterwards. And that's something that's big. That's something that's big. You know, it's 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 really knowing what your priorities are. It's knowing what your priorities are. After that, after the kids were gone, it was just him and I and, and whatnot. We knew how to function. We knew how to, you know, enjoy ourselves and go out and do whatever. But that every other weekend was on pause until unless we were all doing it together. And that's it. Okay? That's it. Um, that's definitely something I could tell you that I look back on today and I'm kind of blown away. And like, hey, I was blown away because I didn't really get that treatment <laughs> from my dad growing up. And my dad was a great dad, but it was like, this guy went be above and beyond for these kids. Like, I was like, wow, that's a great example of, of, of like what a dad does. You know, my, like my dad was good. He was great actually, but different times. And I'm like, wow, this is like, this guy took his duties very seriously you know as a parent even co-parenting i think that was great and my parents had a whole different <laughs> they didn't they didn't exactly follow that pattern so it was a little different in my household so i could tell you that this was very like was was great to see to see how it properly should be done you know and being able to see them together just seeing their relationship together just watching you just sit back for a second and you sit there and watch it. You could see, are those kids awkward around him? Is he awkward around them? Does he know how to comfortably pick them up? Are the kids comfortable with him picking them up? If there is any awkwardness, it's probably because they don't, they're not around each other a lot. And some cases are like that because different marriages, different relationships end differently. So it's not always expected that they're gonna have a great relationship. And some need to stay that way because parents, some parents aren't fit. But if you are supposed to see them every other weekend, because you know, they are in a safe environment, there's awkwardness there, something to pay attention to. That means that there's a gap there somewhere. Like somebody, somebody's not doing something right. So watching them said a lot. It said a, a ton, okay? It, it made me feel like, okay, they, they legit, even though they don't live with one another, they know each other. They're comfortable with one another. You know, they, they have that trust there with one another. At least the children that they trust their dad. That's huge. That's huge. It's not like he, you know, it's another thing. He didn't, you know, want a computer here and have the kids play by themselves in the, the next room or the bedroom. That was never the case. They're always watching even movies together or they're playing games together, they're going out to theme parks together. Even when he was, you know, cooking, those kids were around trying to help him. You know, you know they're little kids, but there was this cute to see, like, the involvement was there. Another thing, he would never talk bad about the mom, that his as ex-wife, in front of the kids. He just wouldn't. Like, how many people could say that nowadays? We end marriages and relationships so bad, sometimes we don't realize how much those kids hear or overhear when we're speaking about this other person. So there was never any any bad talk. I have been friends with kids, I've never heard it once. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Okay? Even behind closed doors. So let's say the kids left and him and I would talk about his past relationship. When he was talking about her, he would never say, you know, he would never curse color names or anything. He, he expressed some anger of why they, you know, broke up or how things came to be at the very end of why things happened. But it was never bitterness. Like he, you could tell he healed and moved on already. Very important as well. You know? So just imagine like he's gonna talk about her that way. He's got a daughter. Is he eventually gonna talk to talk about you that way? And it just makes you want to think like, what am I signing up for? So you as the person, you know, you, you have to pay attention to all these things. You have to pay attention to that and pick that up and just quietly observe because it's important. Don't, don't, don't get caught just kind of walking in and assuming everything's okay because it's okay when you guys are around. These are now kids. These are now other lives that you are, you know, taking, taking 
heart, you know? And this is big. It's not something you could just, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm just going to go because they're technically not my kids. No. So when you want to walk in, if you are willing to, and you have no problem, because again, teach their own everybody. There's some people that don't want to deal with somebody else's kids. People don't like kids. And, you know, some are just like, I want my own, perfectly fine. You got to walk. You got to go. If you decide to walk in, walk in with caution and observe. Pay, pay attention to those things. They matter. They say a lot. You know, this wasn't a, you know, a person that took that very lightly. You know, he, he talked about them. He knew where there was no, hey, you know what, I'm just, I plan on eventually leaving or moving to another state or anything like that. He knew he has to stay here. So those kids are pretty much adults. No plans, no nothing. They're there. They come with him no matter where he goes. That's just the way it was. <clears throat> it was really up to me to decide if I wanted to be part of it. Now, granted, we don't work out, but it wasn't because of kids. Other things are other things that basically kind of came in the way of that. Um, I could still honestly tell you that you know it was a great like as much as I probably could have waited just a tiny bit longer to be introduced. Like I think I was introduced to them way too quickly. But again, that was my first as well, and I was younger, so I didn't know better. Um, from his end, I um, I do wish I would have been introduced to them just a little bit later, just because I think we would have gotten what we needed to get, you know, taken care of and out of the way and make sure that we're the right, you know, we're right with one another before the kids were introduced. Because kids were no problem. They were no problem for my, you know, at all. So, um, but I'm happy. I got a great example because that he set such a high standard, such a, like a high bar for that, that I, I would watch for that like a hawk nowadays. Like, I want to know everything just by watching. I'm, I'm going to know probably half of what I need to know just by watching when you guys interact with one another. So let alone all of the other things that I think are important when you guys, when you decide to go and take that, you know, walk through that door of being this, this, this potential step-parent, you know, or just, you know, taking on the responsibility. So um, I think for me, it was a great example. I absolutely have no regrets. I think that it did introduce me to this um, at an early, young age. I mean, I obviously, obviously yeah, people are going to be like, ah, you know, the early 20s, what did you know? And all that stuff. So I know people have their whatever. But again, my life, that's my decisions. That's what I did. Live and you learn. Um, I, um, I got a good example. And I'm happy that I did because it wasn't just the whole single father. It was just a whole idea of, of a father in general that, that definitely stood out. You know? So you could just tell when you meet people that are just anywhere, <laughs> anywhere below that, they just, it just won't, it won't, it just won't fly because you just know when you do, when you cross somebody who's there and he's willingly, lovingly there for his kids versus one that just kind of, Where's the label because he has to and he's there just because he needs to and he pays because he's got no other choice, you know, it's a huge difference. So anyways, guys, um, I just realized this is going into 14 minutes. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share my story uh, for all the women that are in question. I hope this was a good example for you guys um, versus sharing like a horror story or I don't have one of those with <laughs> dating a guy who had kids or whatnot, but um of what to look out for in a healthy relationship with their kids okay this is one that you want to pay attention to little things you know um which eventually make everything else you know kind of pop out on what to look out for and between you guys and, and his kids so um i hope this helps for all the ones that are kind of questioning it or considering it or just kind of afraid of this idea don't be it's just Make sure you approach your caution. Watch my last video about what I wanted to say about dating a single dad. And then my story. Hope it helps. Um, and yeah, guys, if you guys been in, ladies, been in this situation, let me know. Um, if you guys feel like sharing below. Uh, yeah, you guys, make sure you like, subscribe, share this with somebody who needs it. And let me know if you want me to talk about anything in specific. I'll be more than happy to share. And I will see you guys in my next video.